what you can do with this bracelet is to transact money. Basically, you have your money at your disposal 24-7, all, the, all days of the year, and you could use it to uh, pay for things, coffee, or, or your transportation. Basically, our motto is uh, your own money in your hands. You don't need to know that you're using Bitcoin. Actually, you're just using pesos and transacting pesos. But from point A to point B, you're using Bitcoin to move the, the money quickly and 24-7. Uh, it works the same way as any other debit or credit card. You know it works. You don't know how, but it works. And that's fine. Many ideas which I, I have posted in, in a blog, which also is kind of like uh, my hobby, to, to write this post in, in this blog so other entrepreneurs can see my, my path and my errors so they, they don't have to commit those errors. My name's Kurt Robinson here from the Paradise Paradox. We're here in the Latin American Bitcoin Conference, uh, LaBitConf, and I'm here with Humberto Quintanilla. How's it going? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, by the way, good pronunciation. That's my name, Humberto Quintanilla. <laughs> All right, good. We had to, had to get a little coaching on that beforehand. <laughs> uh, so, Humberto, I want you to tell us a, a, a little bit about the project you're working on with this Bitcoin bracelet. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, it's this bracelet right here. So uh, what, what you can do with this bracelet is to transact money. Basically, you have your money at your disposal 24-7, all, all days of the year, and you could use it to uh, pay for things, coffee, or, or your transportation. Basically, our motto is uh, your own money in your hands. So you don't have to go to financial advisors. You don't have to go to the bank to ask what you can do and what you cannot do. Basically, it's this bracelet and your imagination to use your money as you please. So you could like jump, in a, jump into a taxi and just swipe your bracelet on, on a read or something like that. That's kind of the vision you have? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, okay. Uh, and so, so you were saying how uh, like you, you won't necessarily tell people that it's using Bitcoin to, to power it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the name of the bracelet is Pulse BTC, which stands for BTC, you know, the acronym of Bitcoin. But our motto is uh, to, to keep Bitcoin in the shadows, per se. Uh, you don't need to know that you're using Bitcoin. Actually, you're just using pesos and transacting pesos. But from point A to point B, you're using Bitcoin to move the, the money quickly and 24-7. Uh, it works the same way as any other debit or credit card. You know it works. You don't know how, but it works. And that's fine. Yeah, cool. So you were saying that maybe to your customers, you would call it super pesos or something yeah. like that. Yeah, sure. You would be using your super pesos uh, all day long. Yep. So uh, my question about that is, would, would, the, would it, the, the currency in their account or on, on their bracelet be denominated in pesos or in, in, in bitcoins or something else? It would appear as pesos and there would be no devaluation uh, because, you know, the increasing or decreasing uh, price of bitcoin. Actually, uh, in our development, we use this uh, API to uh, keep the, the value as pesos when you receive them or when you send them. So uh, when point A receives the, the money, it's basically pesos and it's instantly uh, converted into pesos. So there are no increase or decrease in your, in your money that you're going to transact. It's basically your 100 pesos will be 100 pesos. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, great. So the, the customer is protected from the volatility of Bitcoin, but they can still use all of its benefits. Yeah. Yep, okay. Uh, and, and so at what stage of, of development is this, this, uh, this project or this product at the moment? Yeah, so we're finishing uh, the development uh, process. We're going to uh, release the product uh, right between uh, uh, February, I, I, I believe so, if things are going as good as they're going. 
and uh, basically you're going to start to, s to see the bracelet and the, the points of sale in different parts of the city. Uh, we would like to, to be established in, in Mexico City, in Guadalajara, in Monterrey, That's in, which are the main cities. Yep. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Now, uh, so, uh, sorry, if you don't mind me asking, how, how old are you? I'm 22. Okay, and, and have you studied finance or business or anything like that? Yeah, well, I, uh, my bachelor was in uh, international business. I'm taking a master in, in uh, well, an, an MBA, but uh, directed to entrepreneurship. That's the, the main thing that uh, is different in the MBA. And uh, I have many ideas which I, I have posted in, in a blog, which also is kind of like uh, my hobby to to write this post in, in this blog so other entrepreneurs can see my, my path and my errors so they, they don't have to commit those errors and they just learn by these uh, steps. Basically, what I post are um, steps in, in, in doing your startup or um, pros and cons, uh, advices. It's basically uh, directed to young people which are uh, studying in, in college or... Uh, or afterwards okay okay fantastic so so uh, studying this uh, like like getting getting a bachelor's there do you do you think that um, there was a lot of stuff in in your degree which was helpful as an entrepreneur or was it a, a mix of good stuff and bad stuff or what, what would you say to tell you the truth I would say that uh, 20, 20 40 percent of the bachelor is helping me right now uh, there are a lot of stuff that you need to to just forget or just take away. Uh, you have to be a lean entrepreneur and take what you can get the most. So if you if you if you're going to be the co-founder and the and the CFO, just focus on finance and and being lean. Uh, you know, lean startup, uh, lean practices. But you don't have to to know like uh, marketing. So you just have to take the the best that you can do or or the best that will help help you towards what you're going to to do okay okay so uh, looking back now would you um, say when you when you started your degree if you look back and you could go back in time and st speak to your, your you know yourself for four or five years ago would you would you tell yourself to yes yeah, study that degree or would you say just go ahead and start a business Study a degree and then get the hell out uh, in <laughs> in like fourth or fifth semester. Uh, just do your startup. But, uh, okay, so just like it, say say a year or le less than two years of study and then get going. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, I mean, you 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 have to take on your own path. It doesn't even matter what other people say or think or even your friends. You're going to lose a little bit of your friend's uh, faith or confidence uh, in you. But uh, they, they will label, label you as madman. But uh, if you know that you're going through the right path, if you know it in your heart, I mean, it, it doesn't even matter what other people say. Just go for it. Just do it. Mm. Yeah, it sounds great. I mean, there's, obviously, there's always a lot of social pressure like that. Like your parents will tell you to become a doctor or a lawyer. Or to, <laughs> um, yeah, but I, yeah, I guess, uh, like you said, you can fo follow your heart. And I guess a visionary is always called crazy. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you can trust in, in other visionaries that follow your path, like Nikola Tesla for starters so this guy was labeled as madman but I mean we wouldn't even have the technology that we have today because he believed in himself and the ideas that he stand for mm -hmm. yeah so so we, we just met because we were listening to, to Jeff Berwick talk about um, uh, about the currency collapse and various problems with the economy and how Bitcoin helps with that. Uh, and you brought up a, a resource-based economy. So what's, what's your opinion on, a, on like the Venus Project or resource-based economies in, in general? Yeah, good talk with Jeff. Uh, we, uh, we talked about the ja Jack's Fresco project, which is called the, the, the Venus Project. And uh, at first, it was a crazy idea, to say the least. But... Uh, as more you, you study more and you wonder more and you start to think that it could be a good option uh, not the best option but a good option 
uh, to uh, to counter what is going on the capital system which is flawed right uh, right now um, they're struggling to to recycle uh, things but it's going to fail eventually so uh, I thought the resource based economy it could be a good option if we implement it basically the principle is that we use technology in our favor so we can uh, quit our jobs uh, which are just a routine uh, for uh, doing the dreams of others and not ours so and and let technology work in our favor and we can strive as a community as as, as global citizens towards learning and uh, to having positive thoughts compassion love it sounds crazy but um, i think it's a good idea mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a lot to that. Yeah, actually, we we had another interview the other day with with a friend of ours, uh, and he was telling us how uh, that there's a lot of these what they call intentional communities uh, set up like through the United States, and uh, say there's one in Costa Rica, a, a permanent uh, community where people share and 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 take care of each other, um, and. Uh, it's the, I, I don't think it's so so much focused towards the the technology side, uh, but um, this is a yeah it's a different way of structuring a community and and to some extent it seems to work. What, what would you think about like would you ever consider living in an intentional community like that? Well, I was going to tell you that <laughs> I was like a couple of blocks from the Venus Project. I went to uh, uh, J Jupiter, which is uh, like a county in uh, in Florida. I, I I lived in 2011 in West, West Palm Beach, and then we went to Jupiter. And there, then like one or two years uh, in the future, I realized that I was a couple of blocks from meeting Jack Fresco. <laughs> so, uh, well, as I said, I think it's a uh, it's a good option, but. Uh, uh, what I would say about living in a community like that, uh, I would try it. I mean, we don't lose anything by trying. Uh, maybe in small clusters, like for for example, in a the, the Bitcoin uh, group in in Monterrey, the city I live in, uh, is very open to new new ideas. So maybe we can implement just a basic principles of the Venus project, maybe not a, a total total uh, conversion to the system, but just apply some, some basic principles that might work for you. And it's just a trial and, and error, basically. Uh, take what you can get the most. If, if it works, fine, just go for it. Uh, I would personally try to, to implement some principles of the Venus project. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Jeff, Jeff Berwick is a little dismissive about that because he, he basically said, I don't want to... I don't want a damn robot telling me what to do, and I understand that that criticism. But uh, I I think there's some like like what you're saying. We can take parts of this technology and and this uh, this aspect of community and and you know forge those together to to make something new. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's cool. Uh, tell us uh, tell us what's the what's the name of your blog? The the name of our blog, uh, sorry, my blog, it's uh, Emprende dos Minutos uh, dot com which basically are two three-minute reads, so you can uh, digest it fastly and uh, learn my uh, about the steps uh, I've been walking uh, in entrepreneurship on startup, startupism, which is a term which is going, it's catching on, start, startupism. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the blog's called Emprendos Minutos. Okay. Yep. You can check it out. Check him out. Uh, you can find me even on, on Twitter. On Twitter, I'm, I'm Quintanilla HR. On Facebook, I'm Humberto Quintanilla. And uh, the page for the, the company is Pulse Bet You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter. Just Pulse Bet Yep. Okay, fantastic. Uh, well, it's, uh, that sounds great. And I think, um, you know, a lot of people will criticize capitalism because they say it's all about greed or, or you know, people out for themselves, dog eats dog, that kind of thing. But you, you're, you're giving this, uh, this, this very, you're showing this very different example of that because you're willing to show all of this knowledge. And, and I, I guess that you, 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 you're willing to do it because you expect that it will help the world in the future, help new people. Uh, bring their ideas to, to fruition I think it's all about clusters uh, I imagined uh, this idea of having money at our will uh, because I was living in, on, on that scenario 
with uh, with my community, my uh, my my streets. Uh, so I think that maybe uh, take taking your passion and trying to to revol revolutionize the world is just a little a little big stretch that you have to keep keep it down. Maybe just start by changing your community, your clusters. So as I said, implement some principles of the Venus project in your cluster. Implement some Bitcoin principles in your cluster. Implement your startupism ideas with your friends, your family, your project. Uh, you, you have to uh, realize that we're not here alive to, to work for something, someone else's dream. We're here for, for us, for learning, uh, for uh, gaining knowledge and uh, uh, strive to happiness. I sound like a romantic, sorry, <laughs> but I, I think that we need these kinds of, of uh, romantic ideas right now. We need uh, renaissanceism, uh, guys that really struggle uh, to change things in their community. Mm -hmm. Well, my, um, my buddy Aaron likes to uh, likes to say his catchphrase: uh, "Saving the world, one world at a time." So you got you can't save the entire world, but you can save an individual's world. You'll save the world of that individual, right? Right now, maybe you're you're the world for that uh, that little person. Uh, that's a good phrase. I mean, uh, kudos for Aaron. Yeah, uh, we should put that on the T-shirt. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I'll buy that. <laughs> Great. Just do it. <laughs> we'll get that one started. All right. Thank, thanks so much, Umberto. And, and great. Uh, I wish you the best of luck with your projects. Well, thank you very much. And thanks for having, having me here. It was a pleasure and an honor to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Thanks for listening to The Paradise Paradox. Remember, you can subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, Pocket Cast, Podcast Addict. Uh, so load yourself up on some Paradise Paradox goodness and check out our website, theparadiseparadox.com. You can go on there and jump on and, uh, and buy some T-shirts. that has pictures of Bitcoin, silver, and, and gold on there. So you can represent how much that you like. Currencies which aren't controlled by central banks. You might have missed out on La Bitconf, uh, the, the Latin American Bitcoin conference. But you don't have to miss out on 2016 Anarcopulco, the, the world's first anarcho-capitalist and greatest anarcho-capitalist uh, event conference in Acapulco, Mexico. So you can jump onto www.anarchapulco.com, A-N-A-R-C-H. A P U L C O dot com and use the code Paradise and it'll give you a 10% discount. Uh, so that code is valid until the end of December 2015. So jump on, head on over there and do that. Um, oh, so many people interested in liberty and not not just um, not just liberty. And there's a lot of common interests um, aside from that, uh, like alternative medicine, yoga, health, well-being. Um, and also, of course, entrepreneurship and just talking about how we can make the world a better place. So why don't you come on down to Acapulco, Mexico, sunny, beautiful Acapulco on the beach. Have a few margaritas with us and uh, we hope to see you there. So head on over to anacapulco.com and use the, the promotional code PARADISE and uh, buy your tickets quickly. So, so we hope to see you there. Don't be afraid to say hi. Uh, if, if you if you come on down and uh, we'll talk to you soon have a good one and be well